Stage 10 comes on Tuesday the 9th of July, which is the day after the first rest day of this year's tour. So there'll be some fresh legs in the peloton, but we don't think there'll be too many of them attacking at the start because this looks set to be another sprint finish. Stage 10. After a well-deserved rest day and a flight transfer, the tour continues from saint gildas de bois There aren't many flat metres on this 197 kilometres to saint Malo, but despite that fact, it should still end up in a bunch sprint. The sprinters will have had a chance to recover after the hard mountain stages, and now they get another chance to fight for a stage victory. After 57 kilometres, the peloton reaches the city of Guerre, where it will pass through the Coquidon military camp. This should make for a great view with elite cadets lining up in their uniforms, honouring the Tour de France. From here on, the race continues north towards the intermediate sprint in Le Anglais. 15 kilometres later, it's time for the only categorised climb of the day, the Côte de Dinan. This one kilometre climb with an average gradient of 4.2% shouldn't give the sprinters any troubles in staying up at the front. With 23 kilometres to go, the peloton passes through Consale, which is where a young Edval Burson Hagen won stage one of Le Tour de Bretagne back in 2007 before he became professional. It won't be easy for the strong Norwegian to challenge the top sprinters on the line in St. Malo today, but maybe the happy memories from 2007 can help him achieve another top result. The last time the Tour finished in San Malo was back in 1980, where Bert Oosterbosch got the better of the sprinters when he managed to keep the peloton at bay and crossed the line 13 seconds in front of Sean Kelly, who won the sprint from behind. Opportunistic riders may try to repeat Oosterbosch's performance, but this will most likely end up in another bunch sprint. Well, after a relatively quiet day for the GC riders, they'll have to be attentive again tomorrow where the first individual time trial of the race comes. And of course, here at GCN, we've got the full preview.